Colorado Democrats pulled some funny business ahead of the election. We talked about this quite a bit here, how they delayed the gas fee hike they just passed so that people wouldn't be paying it before Election Day. And Democrats claimed credit for the taxpayer bill of rights refunds that some of them had previously tried to kill. Our politics guy, Marshall Zellinger, is asking Democratic leaders if Coloradans should be holding onto their wallets now that Democrats have won. A gas fee created by Democrats in 2021 was delayed in 2022 to not burden voters or er, residents. That gas fee is now supposed to start in April, two cents per gallon, and then it's supposed to go up again just a few months later in July to three cents per gallon. So will Democrats delay that now that they've won their elections? I anticipate that conversation is coming. Do I think we need to implement those fees? Yes. New Democratic State House Speaker Julie McCluskey defended the need for that money because it will go to fund transportation. I truly believe that Coloradans are also committed to seeing roads and bridges in the type of shape they need to be for us to move through this state. Other fees, like the 27 cent delivery fee and the additional ride share fees, were never delayed and will continue. Those are supposed to fund programs to provide incentives for electric vehicles, better the state's air pollution, and reduce health disparities in disproportionately impacted communities. These fees are for very specific, dedicated purposes. These are not things that are, th these are not uh, sources of revenue that are just going to the government's bottom line. Democrats in charge at the state capitol, like state Senate Majority Leader Dominic Moreno, are focused on affordability. Uh, this this is, week, uh, Democratic uh, Governor Jared Polis announced that he wants to set aside $200 million in state money to provide property tax relief. It's estimated that when property tax bills start arriving in the mail this spring, they could increase 25 percent. Last year, state lawmakers tweaked the property tax equation to make our property tax increases not as high as they might be otherwise. But when that happens, cities, counties, school districts, libraries, parks, local government services miss out on the money that was expected. Last year, the state set aside $700 million to cover the money property owners were being saved. If we are going to provide property tax relief, we do need to make those local government entities whole because the services that they provide are extremely important in our local communities. Aside from fees, Speaker McCluskey told me affordability is broader, addressing health care costs to lower medical bills for everyone or funding affordable housing, not just the nickel and diming stuff that I was yeah. asking about. Yeah. What's stopping Colorado Democrats from doing anything they want? N nothing but each other. I didn't get to ask and I, I ran out of time. I want to ask about the infighting because there will be factions of the yeah. Democratic Party that might disagree. You'll still have enough Democratic votes to get something through if some Democrats don't agree, but... Each other is the answer to that. Thanks, Marshall.